Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Deadlift Day, brought to you by Mountain Brook CrossFit and Foundation Fitness. Okay guys, this video is made to instruct in the finer points of the deadlift, which is picking up any object off the floor. Start things off, I'm going to send it to my boy Chuck Carswell along with Christmas Abbott who are both CrossFit HQ instructors. I've known Chuck since my first seminar in Atlanta many many moons ago and I'm going to let him break the ice with instruction of the setup of the deadlift since that's what we, we really hearken on that part of it and so I, I consider why not go to the experts. Knees, the hips, and the shoulders to be on three different levels. This should look almost like a push play button on the side of a CD player. From here, she's going to extend the legs while making sure this angle stays the same till she clears the knees, and then from there, she opens the hip all the way back up. In order to take the bar back down to the ground, she's going to pull the hips back, which is going to send the torso forward, clear the knees, and then settle that angle back down. The main point here is I would love to have this angle stay the same throughout the entire range of motion and relax. Okay. Here Chris is, he's going to set up to the bar, points of performance on this, he's going to, as he addresses the bar, it's close to him first off, no distance between his shin and the bar there in the setup. His knee to heel is slightly forward, but definitely not shooting way forward as in a squat, and you can see when he does that, the hip drops down, we don't want that, okay, so we want to have the knee kind of in a slightly forward position. Now, in relation to his shoulders, when he flattens that back, what's going to happen, if you look, the shoulder is slightly in front of the bar, and his hip to knee is about 45 degrees, and then as he engages, what is going to happen, this little curvature in his back is just going to go flat right before he pulls, and so he's going to do a rep, and his head is going to stay in a neutral position, and we're up, and then he hips go back and down, and now he's ready for his Rep number two, and his knees go back first and then hips come forward. So basically the movement of a deadlift is knees back, hips forward in that progression. They don't happen at the same time. A lot of people will evolve all at one time and we don't want to do that. The knees back, hips forward concept is shown in these next few clips. Immediately the initial pull off the ground is done with knees going back. Knees are forward knees go back, knees are forward, knees go back. When you go knees back, you really rock down into the heels, engaging those that posterior chain we talk about, and that's the musculature that we want to use. Now, After the knees go back, the hips go forward. Knees back, hips come forward. Hips are sitting back at the setup, and we bring them forward. Now, going back down, we have to reverse the process. You'll see, once I've done a proper deadlift, I then send the hips back to set the back angle and then allow the knees to drift forward in kind of a squatting motion. So the points of the setup. Shoulder to, to in relation to the hip, I've got, if I were to draw an x-axis, a horizontal line across the middle of the hip, my shoulder is going to be slightly higher than that. So the shoulder in relation to the hip is slightly higher than the hip. The hip to the knee, 45 degree angle. That's the relationship there. Not any lower and certainly not stiff leg up and sort of a straighter leg, if you will. From the knee to the heel, I've got the knee slightly trans translated forward and that still allows me to have my, my pressure driving through the heels, which is again of utmost importance. The reason for that is that we get to tap into the hamstring strength, the glute strength, and take the load off of lower back and the thoracic upper back area. Now, shoulder. In relation to the weight, this X representing the weight, what I want to have is I'm going to have the shoulder slightly in front of the weight in the setup. It's, if, you, if you look, there's going to be a, right, a little location right underneath the knee if the knee's in the proper place, but the shoulder is going to be slightly in front of the weight as it's, uh, as it's set up like this. And again, smile. This next round, we're going to show Chris's setup from the front. And first off, what you notice is that 
the shiny smooth part of the bar his shins are going to be within that and that's on a conventional deadlift if he was doing sumo then they would be out on the rougher knurling part on the outside but what we're looking to do is conventional today and so his feet if you can if you can imagine his front hip bones his feet are going to be right underneath there okay and they're going to be more pointed straight forward than on a squat where we angle them out slightly so his hips are just like uh, a monitoring system for where his feet are going to be placed and so now he can get into his setup and when he does that he's going to drive down into his heels again that's the primary movement of the deadlift when he does this you'll see the back extend into there and his neck stays into a neutral position and he pulls straight up his hips are completely open at the top great and again if we show a line the finished position of the deadlift when he goes up to the top the hips are brought forward and right underneath if not slightly forward of the shoulders very good so there's deadlift day here at Mountain Brook CrossFit we appreciate you stopping by hopefully the lessons that we might have been able to get across to you that will definitely become a habit it's how we pick things up around here and it certainly is how we suggest you do as well uh, we aim for safety we want you to follow those same principles if you have any questions comments thoughts or concerns on on any of the movements that we've taught here leave them in the comment section below like the video and uh, if you haven't already just subscribe to the channel Invite others uh, to see these videos because certainly we believe that they'll be helpful for anybody, literally. So thanks again and have a great day.